Nepal Health Minister Dr. Duane Sands fielding questions yesterday following a nationally televised press conference where the Prime Minister issued that nationwide shutdown. One of the topics was the number of ventilators available. Dr. Sands confirmed that there are currently 70 ventilators available, but he warned they must be used in the correct way, but by the appropriate individuals. Using a ventilator requires that a special breathing tube is placed into the airway. There are anesthesiologists, pulmonary medicine specialists, intensivists, thoracic surgeons, general surgeons that can adeptly and expertly put that tube in. And that is perhaps the most dangerous thing for causing the COVID virus to go into the air. When you sum it all up and ask the question, how many people are trained in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas is probably a group of less than 100 people total. That includes the, those medical professionals that I just spoke of. Then you have a group of intensive care trained nurses, respiratory therapists, and others. We believe that there are more than enough ventilators in the Bahamas. We do not intend at this point to place ventilators in community settings where they would be more dangerous than helpful. And so where there are intensive care beds, where there are intensive care services in Nassau, in Grand Bahama, there we will concentrate our critical care initiatives. Well, Dr. Sands also addressed fears that health care officials may be unknowingly exposing family members and loved ones to the virus and if measures are in place to combat this. We have recognized that people have genuine concerns in working in such a stressful scenario. Sometimes people prefer not to go home and we have provided a res respite type environment where Healthcare workers can be put up where they can rest, where they can shower, where they can sleep. And if they wish, they can stay there for as long as they want, uh, paid for by the government of the Bahamas.